Hello everyone. So in the beginning of 2018, I set a couple of goals for myself. So in this video, I will be looking back on them to see how I did. So let's get started. The first goal I set is that I wanted to write more reviews on Goodreads. The first thing I do when I see a book that I might want to read is that I check the reviews on Goodreads. I don't really look at the ratings because everybody has a different standard that they set on the rating system. So I really don't listen to those. So I look at the reviews because some person might say like, oh, gave it a five star review, but in their review say something about that they love their love triangle. And since I'm not a big fan of love triangles, then I'd probably stay clear of that book. I wanted to do the same to help people out. In the beginning, I was doing great. I wrote a review for every book that I read. Then in the middle of the year, I kind of started slacking. It was hard for me to keep up with it. I did write reviews for books that I felt really strong opinions for, but it was really hard to write reviews for books that I was just like, eh, about. You know, like, there wasn't anything really good about it, but there wasn't anything bad about it, so it was kind of hard to write a review for it because I wanted to write something that would help people and say like trigger warnings or have some great insight into it but books that I didn't have really strong opinions about it was harder to write reviews for and it just stressed me out. So I think for this year I'm just gonna relax more and just focus on the books that I have strong opinions for because that's when I'll really write a good review. My second goal I wanted to do was write about each book that I read. Write little notes while I'm reading it, like something that I didn't like, or maybe my favorite quotes in it, something like that. Then write an in-depth summary, and then at the end write what I didn't like about this book. Because most of the time, I in a year or a month, a couple of months, I forget like the ending or certain important parts of this book and I wanted to have something to look back on and know in detail what happened and then see how I felt about it. And I can say that I did this. I wrote it in my journal and so you can see everything is filled. And I am so glad I did this. I can look back and see what I loved and disliked about this book because sometimes my videos aren't enough because sometimes I really hate a book but I can't really discuss it because it's a major spoiler and I don't want to spoil it for my viewers. So I write it down and so I can look back and be like, yeah, I hated that because of such and such. Or I loved it because it, at the time I was feeling this so this book made me feel such a strong emotion where probably at another time I wouldn't have felt that. So I liked how that I can look back and know what I felt while I was reading those books. The next goal is that I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to read books that I normally wouldn't read. I will admit that in 2018 I mostly read young adult books and that is what I'm most comfortable with. That's my comfort zone. There were about seven books out of the 48 books that I've read that I've considered challenging and out of my comfort zone. It kind of seems bad, but considering that this is the first year that I was challenging myself, I think I did pretty good. It's going to take me a while to change my reading habits, but I want to. I want to read books that I normally wouldn't, because I actually enjoy some of the books that I probably wouldn't have read in the first place. I think that it made me a better reader and it pushed myself to get through books and learn stuff that I never knew before. The next goal was I wanted to read more diverse books. Let that be diverse authors, women author, books about diversity, diverse subject matters, like those about the LGBT community or mental illness or disability, because I think it is important to support books like these. I read four authors of color, 22 female authors, two books dealing with the LGBTQ plus community, four books that had the characters mainly people of color, and two books dealing with mental illness. It feels great that I read more books by female authors than I did male authors. I wish I read more books by diverse authors or books 
that their characters are people of color. I think it is important to do so because I think it is important to read books about people who have different life experiences than you do. You can see the world differently. I didn't read much uh, about mental illness or dis disability. Those books kind of scare me. I get a little nervous about reading them because it is a hard subject to get right. Unless you dealt with it yourself or had a family member or someone close with you deal with it, it's hard to understand what a person's going through and write about it. But I do want to read more books on those topics. The last goal which I failed the most is that I had a bunch of books that I said I wanted to read in 2018. I'll leave the link in the description. And I pretty much failed that. I read five out of the 21 books that I said I wanted to read in 2018. Most of the books on that list were out of my comfort zone, so I kept putting them off and reading something I wanted to read more, and I just kept putting it off and off and off until the end, and I never got through them. Some of the books that I did get to read on that list was Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, The Sun is Also a Star, Lolita, Much Ado About Nothing, and The Color Purple. Those are the books I got to, but there were many more that I did not get to. So I do want to read them at some time, maybe this year, but I'm not putting any pressure on myself because I never get through them. I never get through my TBRs and so I kind of don't want to do that to myself because then I feel like a failure afterwards because I'm like dang it I only got one of the books I wanted to read this year and then I, it kind of takes the fun out of reading. So those were my goals that I set for myself. I think I did pretty good. So like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye!